back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Tonight is the Christmas tree race, and I got it ready. They took me up to get the launch right because that's pretty much the only thing we got to get dialed on this car. And it's going to be running strong. I mean, I'm just worried about getting off the line clean. As you can see, I got my Christmas tree on with the Dr. Pepper Kansas ornaments. Got some lights on it. Now, I ordered a six-foot tree before reading the rules, and you need to have an eight-foot tree. So, I did a little Florida style, put a palm leaf on it. And uh, now she's about 10 feet plus, so it'll hold. Got her strapped down to the trunk lid. Sorry, oh, Sam, about the paint. What, you need power? Yeah. Nate needs power. What's the guy cooking over here? I'm just slowing down your boost ramp a little bit from where I had it, because it was kind of spicy. It was a spice? So we're gonna go down the track. I would like that a lot. Good clean pass down the track, all the way. Yep, all the way down, just floor it. Why are you bringing so many bottles? How many rounds are you gonna make it tonight? Less than two, more than none. You mind stepping on the scale for the for the people? Two feet. Two feet. <laughs> two. Oh, that's off. Is it off? Two fourteen. Oh, okay. I'm down a pound. All right, here I'll do it. <laughs> Ooh, I've gained a. Gained about, pounds. <laughs> gained about 10 pounds since I moved to Florida a year ago. <laughs> These guys are not a good influence on me. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Here we go, headed to the track. Setup is legitimate. Look at this. They got the whole scene thing going on. I mean, that's going to obviously get tossed to the back of the car as soon as they leave the line. But look at this. They even got some snow and frost on the windows. Looking clean. Ooh. Are you going to put this thing on the brake for the people? Coop, tell me about your reindeer setup here. Um, yeah, so these will last a little while. That's Rudolph. <laughs> it was kind of the uh, Rudolph was the unliked reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Are but you? That went and made them all proud. Are you the unliked reindeer? <laughs> you know, sometimes I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Somebody's got to be that guy. I feel the same way too sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so hard out here dude <laughs> what are you doing putting your valve sim covers back on yeah, or what and, um, they're billets so i'm just putting them back on do they tell you when your tire pressure is red or green when you're in it or not no does no. yours no but have you seen those remember like, like 10 oh, years yeah. ago if you had the right tire pressure they'd be green but if they weren't it'd be red remember yeah, those yeah those are that's actually not a bad idea i know i'm just putting some air in my tires because i realized they were all low tell the people what psi you're running in your front tires 38 38. You heard it here first, people. 38. It'll help your 60 foot. Ah. Your reaction time. Wow, that's a big, heavy tree. Oh my god. Turbo is massive. 
another uh, Mustang with another tree on it. Looking good, looking good. It's about as lit as the Christmas tree. Don't video that garbage in there. I don't know if it's more lit in there or on top of the car. It's both. <laughs> it's all right. It works though, right? That's all that matters. It's all that matters is that it works. Needles fly, the Christmas lights go, and we're standing now in front of some of the cars. We got Mullen right here, decorated with a Christmas tree, Ruby behind me, and the blazer. Are you guys ready to see some Christmas tree drag races or what? We're going to talk to Dr. Mitchell first, and it looks like he's got Dr. Pepper all lined in. What's going on, Parker? How's it going, man? How you doing? Christmas tree race. going to be my first time doing it this year, and I'm pretty amped, guys. Really. Yeah. So talk to us. What did you do to the car? What changes? I know you've been building it a lot on your channel, Teeth and Turbos. Yes, I have. And it's uh, it's come a long way. You know, I got the car earlier this year, and now we have a completely different setup. I'm talking Power Glide. I'm talking Texas Speed 427. I'm talking a big 88 millimeter turbo. And then, I mean, and then, and now then, it's time to go fast. <laughs> I mean, I hadn't even driven it on this new motor setup, and we strengthened the transmission. So I'm excited to get out there, especially since we got Sick Week coming up. This is going to be a great time to get racing against some other guys. And I got my Christmas tree with Dr. Pepper cans as ornaments because the car's name is Dr. Pepper. Let's go take a look at that. I want to see how you decorated and dialed this thing in. Yeah. Excuse us. Wow, so you weren't kidding. I wasn't. Okay, take a look at this, Chris. For those of you at home, on the Teeth and Turbos channel, Dr. Mitchell has named his car the Dr. Pepper car. And so he has, all in good fashion and good faith of the name, he has decorated it with Dr. Pepper ornaments. Now, did you drink all these no, tonight? Actually, it has been known that this is the amount of soda consumed in one to two business days at the Freedom Shop where they work on the cars. So yeah. I said to the guys, hey, I need some Dr. Pepper cans. One day later, I got 80 of them. <laughs> yeah, big Dr. Pepper fans. If you haven't started your day with an ice cold DP, that's the best way to get it going and then finish off the afternoon with if a Bartle ski. If you have a Dr. Pepper before you brush your teeth, then it fizzes more in your mouth and you get an even better experience. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from the dentist himself. Um, that probably keeps you in business making suggestions like that. 941-485-9633. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Well, your car looks great. Um, I want. Oh, you got a palm frond sticking off the top. Uh, here's the story. Chris, come over here. Here's the story. I bought this tree, a six foot tree, before I knew the rules were eight feet. So since we were cutting it down to the wire, I put a Florida palm leaf on the top of the tree to make it eight feet. Well, that definitely gets you there because you stop at six feet right here. I would say that's at least another three or four feet. Absolutely. I'm shooting for about 10 feet here. You know, it's kind of hanging over, dragging a little bit, but hey, you know, it looks great. It's going to work. It's going to count. Yeah, I think it looks good, man. It really came together. So I'm happy to see you out here. I know this is you're getting huge into the car scene. You've been a great person to watch and a great YouTube uh, uh, you know, account to follow. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Follow Parker Mitchell, Garrett Mitchell's brother, on the Teeth and Turbos YouTube channel. Put a two in the chat below for Parker Mitchell if you think he's going to take home the win. Love it. All right, man. Good to see Thanks you out there. Chance. All right. See you around. Absolutely. All right, guys. We're paired up first round. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle Parker. Nice to meet you. What do you got going on here? Twin tire, normal coyote build, twins. Yeah? No motor, no system. Turbo 400, glide at no, 10 speed? 10 speed. Okay. 10, 10 speed. You're going to be quick. Nice. All right. Well, we'll see you out there. I got to go get my gear and we'll get staged up. So That's it, folks. You hear it right from Cletus. Now, we got your brother. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Completely untested. Yeah, Dr. Pepper getting ready. I hope he keeps all of his cans on there. All of his ornaments have been zip tied uh, to the tree. Wow. Mustang on Mustang. <laughs> Dr. Pepper getting all the way to go. and then stayed in it.
Bennett was able to get the victory. Yeah, boy. Your tree's got to stay on, though. Huh? Your tree's got to stay on to get the win. It's on. I see it in my mirror. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Whoa! Got that W! Oh. All right, here's the deal. My time slip. I uh, left the line clean, and then I spun right at about 10, 20 feet. And so I did a 160. 60 foot which is pretty consistent for my car because i haven't done anything to the suspension i ended up going 90 at 161. there it is and then so i got the w here here's the guy next to me he spun off the line pretty hard so i went ahead and changed out the the boost curve and stretched it out over a little more time so that we hopefully don't need help packing your shoe hey guys <laughs> what's going dude, on dude really uh so you double bulbed right out of the gate i'm sure you've been warned they want you to Give that first bulb. No, nah, I don't <laughs> want to do that because I don't have a bump, so I just wanted to get in the tree right away. But Yep, you know how these guys are with their maybe, rules. But hey. Just working my strategy. Dude, hey. Dr. Pepper moving on to the next round. Moving That's a hell of a run, dude. That's freaking I'm pretty, awesome. I'm pretty excited. Hold on. Okay. So All right. We're going we got a chip draw for the second round in T minus 10 minutes. Is that what they said? Yeah, I believe it was a 10 minute countdown. So, um, you know, you should have. No, the red one goes on top. <laughs> no, dude, that was awesome, man. I love watching your race, dude. dude Appreciate you, you it. I'm really it. hyped. I was screaming at the end of the drive. Let's go, dude. Awesome. I, I, I bet you were ecstatic, dude. I, I was mean, so dude, you're winning races. This is I did. sick. I, I did. Mean, I want to race. I this is your rookie year of drag racing, like in, it is, a, in a competitive. 2021. Yeah. So it like, is, sure. you're coming to the conclusion. What have you learned? Tell us a little bit about the journey of starting drag racing and getting into the sport when you got a top dog. You just got to go for it. I pretty much knew. No, I had entry level knowledge. I knew how to put a cold air take on a car or an exhaust but i just decided to buy a real race car and join in on the fun and it's been such an incredible process and i've learned so much so if you're sitting on the couch watching this get out there get a car have fun with it everybody's got to learn somehow and everyone's more than willing to help with the track so just do it yeah the community is extremely friendly I'm they're back to yeah do your thing I'm, yeah absolutely hey, guys, thanks for watching. hey good game oh encouragement <laughs> um well, guys, real tough break situation. I pulled my brother in mullet. If he doesn't spin, there's no way I'm beating him. So we're going to go out and give it our best and have fun and put on a good race. All right, guys, here's my strategy. You're not supposed to go up and light both bulbs, but I'm going to try and get in his head a little bit and do that because that's really the only chance I've got. But I am worried that he's going to leave me hanging and try and get me up on the brake early and just wait to bump in. But... I really don't know how to play this one. I, I really don't have a chance unless he spins off the line, but I'm going to give it my best. All right, we're out here to have a good time. Pull a Garrett on Garrett. Or an old <laughs> cleater on cleater. Right? Garrett lifted.
good. the jump and even backed out on the throttle. I know I spun hard. Well I lost my race against Cleet and I hurt my transmission. Listen. Just not even make it, making any move. Oh. Ooh, no it sounded good. But uh yeah so I lost my race and hurt my car but I spun off the line hard so I'm just gonna use that as my excuse. Alright for that. Good old girl doing good. Well, here's the deal. All right, I got it into second gear, but it won't go into first. I was having trouble with this a couple days ago, but decided it'd be fine. I did some adjusting on the shifter, but basically the shifter on the train is super hard to move. So we're gonna have to pull the pan and figure that out. But I'm really proud of how the car did tonight. I'm super pumped. Even though we got made it to round two and got the L, we still made it to round two, which I'm stoked about. Here's the slip from Garrett and I's pass. He treed me. He beat me to the 60 foot. He beat me to the 330, the eighth. Got a lower mile an hour. That's the only thing I beat him in because obviously he big time let out. But you know what? I still beat him there. RX7 versus Bullet in the finals. Wraps it up for the Christmas tree race. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself your girlfriend, whoever, they are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.